inside the now open guard of his opponent. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot spin from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. The American is 29. The Russian is 32. He is the six inch taller party. He will have a six inch reach advantage. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting. And a backpack color, Russia, Omari Lakak Akbedov. And now the his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, Cyclops. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here in the heavyweight division. Herb. All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' career. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. A uh, single collar tie here. Oh, nice right hand. Got that kick there. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. 
difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent. Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Lands with the grounded pound here. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. That's a nice straight punch there. Two to punch, got to the target. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. You got to check these low leg kicks. Straight right hand now, just misses. Great punch. He's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing all the defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Straight right hand, no good. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice. Back and forth we go. And they separate. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he's going to try to take down that pick. See if he can wrap. Head kick. Oh, collar tie. Right hand punch from the clinch. Big call from punch land. Now we get back to range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Take him down. Cover. Take him down. Cover. Over and over. He's securing these takedowns. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh-oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's going to get stuck, and he will have to submit. You got to be careful, Armbar. Armbar. Submission. How about that? He's like, you go here, <laughs> my arm's free, and now he's got plenty of room to operate here out of side control. Nicely Great done. Job. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here, and if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend, but you can see him now start to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these grounds for time. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. Akhmedov gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Trying to establish that jab once again. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. And they clinch once again. 
That knee might have landed there. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. Punch is blocked. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Slips. Big punch lands through the middle. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Blocks the strike. Ahmedov's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Right hand puts the clinch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes Huge into the Huge elbow hit. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Trying to stay in this fight. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Oh! Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's been the dance. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Side control now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Just over two minutes now to go. Postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Relentless pressure from the top by Ahmed. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. All right, so it lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's over and over again. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. So holding on to another takedown lane. Another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Ahmedovs has got full mount now. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Akhmedov's looking to lock up an arm bar here. Get attack an arm bar. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Oh, and there's the horn. There's the tap. He got him. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Right. I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You can tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight.
All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by tap out. Omari Lakeman. Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys. Sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission. He got his hand raised in the way that he loved.